Hello, and welcome to a video on how to create a Valheim server. Valheim is a game full of exploration and survival, set in a Viking culture age game style. In this guide, I will show you everything you need to know to make your own Valheim server. The first step is to go to scalacube.com and click sign up to create a new account. Once this is done, log into your account and make your way to servers. Click on Buy Server and select Valheim. Click on Get Your Server. Select your location and click Next. Select the number of slots you would like your server to have. The next step is to select a server address for your server. For this video, we are selecting the default IP with port. This can be changed later. Click on Next. Here, you can select any additional applications for your server. These can be selected at a later date if required. Confirm your server details and click on Pay. Select your payment method and finalize your payment. Once the server has been purchased, make your way to the Servers tab and click on Manage Server. Click on Manage again. To connect to your server, open Steam then click View at the top left of the page, then Servers, then Favorites, then Add Server, and enter your IP address in the field. This server list is administered by Steam. We have no control over it. However, your server should be listed within 24 hours after you've played the game for at least a couple of hours. If your server is still not showing up, please contact Steam support. Clicking on Console, will allow you to see server-specific details of your server with more of an administrative touch. Clicking on Settings will allow you to change your game server name and server password. Clicking on Become Admin allows you to add admins inside your Valheim server. Admins must be added in the form of Steam IDs. Clicking on File Manager will allow you to manage your server files if you need to remove, add, or replace any files. If we go back to the Game Servers page and click on the Backup System, we can set up a server automatic backup feature so no data would be lost in the future. Clicking on Scheduled Tasks allows you to select a scheduled task on your server to act on your server, like restarting or starting a server on the console for more automation. If we click on Monitoring, we can see the resource usage of our server and plan our mods and plugins accordingly how many resources we own. That is all for me today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.